here we're going to learn how we can work in the calendar. So up on the left hand side, you have access to your teams or groups. And if we tick one of the boxes next to the team, you'll see the schedule and everything that's been planned for that month. You also get access to the list of athletes within that team. If we untick team A and we tick team B, we'll see the athletes that are in that squad and we can see there hasn't been anything programmed for this month. If we look at what's planned for team A, we have a monthly view, a weekly view, by the day, and a yearly view. And if we use these arrows to go back and forth, we can navigate by month, and we can always click on the word today to bring us back to the current date and have it selected. We also have a few buttons on the right hand side here, one of them being the ability to sort by session type. So if I was only interested in the games that we were playing, I can untick everything and just have a look at those games. So now we're gonna go and create a new session for team B. But before we do that, we're gonna jump in and import some already planned programs for team C. If we click on this arrow in the top right hand corner, we have access to our team practices, which we set up in session templates, which you can find in a separate video. And we can see all of the templates that we've set up. Now, if I select Tuesday as the day we want to begin, I can drop this monthly plan into the calendar, press OK. And now I have a whole monthly plan for Team C for September. So now we're going to go through how to create an individual practice. So I'm going to tick Team B and go to today's date. Now I can double click or right click on the box to bring up this menu and I have options to create a new practice, a new game, or a new team event. So in this case, let's create a new practice. And I'm gonna give this training session a label. And if we click the arrow, I have access to all of the previous labels that I've used. In this case, we'll select afternoon training. I can pick a location, choose the local oval, and if there's multiple fields at that location, I can use the description field here to write in field three. I can choose what time we're going to start. So let's start at 2 p.m. and have the session run for 45 minutes and ask the athletes to arrive five minutes before. We also have a notes field where we can type in anything we want, both the athletes and coaches linked to the team to read. So bring a water bottle. And then in the coaches notes, we can write anything that's only viewed by the coaches, not the players. So now if I close this, we can see that we have our afternoon training session set up. And on the mobile, we can see that the afternoon session has been set up. Great. So what if we wanted to duplicate this session and put it on Thursday as well? Well, I can right click and click copy practice, or I can use keyboard shortcut of command C on a Mac or control C on Windows and then we can paste over to Thursday and let's do it again for October 1st Tuesday the following week and you'll see that the option here is paste to team B so you have the option to select another squad and say we wanted to paste for team C it's going to take that afternoon training session and paste it in for the other team. We also have the ability to move sessions by dragging them. So if you click and hold, you can move the session around to a different day. And we can drag and select the whole week's worth of training. And we can copy and paste that to the following week. So let's paste in some Saturday sessions here. So we have three in the, the one week. And now let's change the time for our Thursday session. So if I double click to open this up, I'm gonna change it to midday and change the color of the practice to orange, just to show you how it affects other sessions. And when we close this, it's gonna say, would you like to make changes to the other Thursday sessions, which are similar because we copy pasted them. So if I press okay, now we can see that both of the Thursday sessions are at midday and colored in orange. If we wanted to delete sessions, we can right click and use the delete button. 
or we can select the whole week, right click and delete the three sessions that way. We also have the ability to focus by clicking on the name of a team. So even though we have team B selected, if we wanted to quickly see team C's calendar, we can just click on their name. So you can always tell in the top corner here where it says viewing team, team C. If we wanted to look at team A, you can press on the name of team A. You also have the ability to view the workout programs of specific athletes. So if I checked Adrian's name here, you can see as I check and uncheck, his name's popping up with the workout programs that he's completed. Now, if I wanted to see only Adrian's workouts, I could go to the sort function, remove everything that's not a workout. And then I can see all of the different sessions, what's been completed and what hasn't. And similar to your practice plans, you can drag and move these along the calendar and delete them, create new ones, much similar to creating practice plans. You also have the ability in calendar to program for subgroups. So here we have team C, which has their calendar. But if we wanted to program for only the attackers that are in team C, we could also have what we would call a sub calendar within that group. So let's say we wanted to create a new practice for just the attackers. We can color this in yellow. When we're looking at Team C's programs, we're not gonna see what the attackers are doing. But if we wanna look at the attackers, now I can see what's been programmed specifically for them. So this is really handy if you have subgroups within your squads and you wanna program and communicate with them separately. So that's the basics of how we utilize the calendar. Thanks for listening.